After removing the printer from the box, place it on a flat surface. Remove all tape, packing material, and paperwork. Open the top cover. Remove any other packing material and tape. Press down in this area marked with the D to remove the drum unit. Do not touch this area. Cover the drum unit with a sheet of paper to protect the drum from damage. Open the front cover cassette. Pull this protective sheet out of the machine. Put the drum unit back into the printer. Be sure to align these pins with these slots on both sides of the unit. Press down on the blue D part of the drum unit until it clicks into place. A starter toner cartridge is supplied with the printer. Use it first before utilizing any purchased toner cartridges. Make note of the label warning which states, this starter toner cartridge is used the first time your Kyocera printer is set up and turned on. Open the sealed toner cartridge package and remove the cartridge. Grasp the toner cartridge here and shake it back and forth at least five times. Remove the toner cartridge protective cover. Do not touch this area of the toner cartridge. Grasp the new toner cartridge at these points and align the guides at both ends with these slots in the printer. Press the levers down at both sides of the cartridge until it clicks into place. Close the top cover. Open the front cover or cassette. Pull the paper length guide called the stopper back. Remove the stopper from the paper length guide. Keep the removed stopper in a safe place. You may need it later for large format paper. Adjust the width guides to your paper size. They are located on both sides of the cassette. Be sure to keep paper below these marks. If you're using A4 letter or larger paper, pull out the paper length guide. Take the paper out of the package and fan it as shown. Tap on a solid surface to even the pages out. Load the paper in the cassette until the paper touches the far inner side. Pre-printed paper must be loaded printed side up. Make sure all guides are adjusted so no gap exists between the guides and the loaded paper. Load paper to below these tabs. The paper should not make contact with the tabs. To specify the paper size, push the power button located on the top of the printer. When the display shows 01, the printer is ready. We'll print out the internal status page. Pull out this paper stopper. Push the mode select key located here. Hold the button for five seconds. The machine will print out a status page, which contains important information about your specific printer. We will now download your Windows driver and client tool, which connects and configures both the printer and scanning features for your MA2000W. Let's get started. First, open your favorite browser and type the following https colon forward slash forward slash kiosera.info. Press enter. You will be taken to the Kyocera Download Center. Select USA from the pull down. At the search box, type MA2000 and then highlight the MA2000W selection. Pick your PC's operating system. In our example, we are selecting Windows 10 64-bit. And then select your language. Scroll down the page to Easy Installation Web Installer Windows Only and press the blue down arrow to the right. When it appears, scroll down to the license agreement and agree to the contract and download. Go to where this program is downloaded and open it, webinstaller.exe. You'll be asked if you want this app to make changes to your device. Click on Yes. Another license agreement page will appear. Scroll through the agreement and click on Accept. A resource and energy saving page will appear. Scroll through the page and click on OK. The web installer page will show three files the install file, the uninstall file, and the maintenance file. Click on the install file. Your computer will now search your network for your new printer. This may take a few minutes. Look for the MA2000W icon entry and click to highlight. Click Next. In a few seconds, you'll be presented with the select components to install. Make sure all options are selected. The GX driver is the printer driver for this machine. 
The Twain driver will scan from Twain supported application. Fonts add additional printable characters not included in Windows. The Kyocera client tool is used for scanning and should be checked for immediate installation. The NetViewer is optional. It provides real-time printer status pop-ups on your computer screen. If you wish to install this feature, check the box. Select Install on the bottom right of the screen. All components will download and install. Please be patient as, depending on the internet speeds, this process may take several minutes to complete. Do not stop the download or close the window. Upon installation, you should see all components listed as installed and the next button highlighted in blue. Click Next. You should see Configure Your Printer. Each component listed is an active link, so you can, for example, print a test page to ensure the driver is working. Also, you can set your computer to use your Kyocera printer as your default printer. Note, the print test page will not print until the installation wizard is complete. Next, select Open Client Tool to configure the scan feature. You should now see the Kyocera Client Tool window. On the top left side, you should see your new printer, Kyocera MA2000GX. If not, select it from the down arrow. Select Scan. You should see Preferences and Quick Scan Settings. First click on Preferences. Here you can set default settings for scanning. We recommend you set the original document size to Letter. Also select whether you'll be scanning in color or black and white. You can also set Resolution. For high resolution documents such as line drawings and detailed pictures, select 600 by 600. If you are routinely scanning documents such as letters and statements, 300 by 300 is recommended. The Sharpen pull-down will bring out faint features in certain documents. Select higher settings if you're using faded, gray, or poorly defined originals. Otherwise, leave it at the default, low. Original image are presets for different document types. If you think you'll be using mixed documents with text and photo, leave this as text and photo. Select text if your documents are mostly text and photo if you're mostly scanning photos. If unsure, just leave the setting as is. You can always change this setting anytime you wish to scan. Density will increase scanning decision making in the software. The higher the density, the more likely the scanner will find and scan small details, including imperfections in the original. The lower the density, the less likely imperfections will be scanned. Finally, reverse image is a mirror image of the scanned document. Remember, printed characters will appear in reverse when using this feature. Click OK once you're happy with your settings. Highlight and click on Quick Scan Settings in the Kyocera Client tool. The Quick Scan Settings will appear. Select an Output and Format. Click Apply and then OK. Open the cover. Place your document face down on the scanner with edge placed in the corner. Close the cover. You're now ready to scan. Select from PDF, Email, or Folder. In our example, we're selecting PDF. Name the PDF file. We are calling ours My First Scan, and note where you're saving the file. You can change this to whatever folder or directory you like. In our example, we are saving to Documents. Press Save. A progress bar will appear showing your scan in progress. Upon completion, your scanned document will appear in your browser. Remember, you cannot do anything in the browser except inspect the scanned results. The document itself is available in the folder you are scanning to. You may now close the Kyocera Client tool. Close the web installer by clicking on Finish and then the X or Close icon on the top right of the web installer splash page. To open the Kyocera Client tool to scan in the future, click on the Start Windows icon on the lower left and select the Kyocera Client tool or type Kyocera in the search window to locate the tool. You have now successfully installed the client tool to use the scanner function. If you wish to print, select an electronic document you wish to print from inside the program, such as Word or Excel. Select Print, and then select your new printer from the pull-down. 
From there, you can choose which properties you wish to use for your print job. Consult your user guide for additional information on specific features. Press print. Your printer will warm up and print the requested document. Consult your user guide for additional information on using your new printer for printing and scanning. We will now show how to remove and replace the toner container. Open the top cover. Press this blue button with a down arrow stamped on it to release the toner cartridge. Grab the unlocked cartridge at these points and remove it from the printer. Open the box containing the replacement toner and remove it from the sealed bag. Shake the toner cartridge back and forth at least five times. Remove this plastic protection cover from the toner cartridge as shown. Be careful not to touch this area of the cartridge. Hold the new toner cartridge at these points and align the guides on both the right and left sides with these slots in the printer. Press the levers on both sides of the cartridge until it clicks into place. Close the cover. Take the enclosed plastic disposal bag from the new cartridge box and place the old cartridge in the bag. Place the bag with the old cartridge into a shipping box and discard it following local code or regulations for waste disposal.